Yeah, man. The time has come. They can't give me too much time off work because I start to think way too much. <laughs> time has come, man. Like, behind me, way back in that corner back there, about a couple of stacks of sneakers that I bought. I don't want them. I bought them. I wanted them when I bought them. <laughs> and um, I might sell. I might sell. I might not. I'm just gonna go through them, bro. <laughs> anyway, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Mike Rich, man. What's happening with y'all today? Hope everybody, each and every last one of y'all, is having a blessed day today. I am because I'm I'm having an epiphany. Like I'll probably regret this later. Maybe not. Who knows? Um, but. I was going through a lot of my kicks and I was just looking like, especially a lot of stuff I bought last year. Man, I thought I was being selective. Mm -mm. Wasn't being that selective. Uh, you sit around the house long enough. And plus, like, actually being able to rock my shoes these last week or so that I've been off uh, work for my back issues and stuff. I noticed that it's like, I was like, man, if I had the time off, I'd wear these. You know what I'm saying? If I didn't have to go to work and deal with all that dust and all that at work, I'd wear these. No, a lot of this stuff I still probably wouldn't get a chance to wear. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you're not being selective, when you're not buying shoes. Because every time I want to put on a pair of shoes, I want to put on a pair of shoes that I love. I don't want to put on a pair of shoes that I just like. Or I just like, man, they was on sale. Or I was just like, oh, that's a nice colorway to go with an outfit. Let me get those. I want to put on a pair of sneakers that I love every time I go out of the house. It's a lot of shoes I got in my collection that I don't love. And it's a lot of shoes that I got in my collection that's unsellable. So I might have to go under retail on some stuff. Who knows? We'll see if people bite. If nobody bites, I just have to keep the shoes. I've actually had shoes that I just couldn't sell. It was unsellable. Brand new DS pairs of sneakers that nobody just nobody wanted. Because they was like, bruh, who want those? Who wear those? Who will wear those? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So one, one, um... One thing I know is Prestos will never leave my collection just because not only the fact that they're comfortable, but they're just not sellable. Ain't nobody finna buy no Prestos. Not off me anyway, you know what I'm saying? Unless I'm selling them for like $40 or something. Yeah, we ain't rolling like that, you know what I'm saying? We work too hard. Anyway, uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and get to some of these shoes. I'm literally finna go over here and go through boxes and see if anybody wants some of this stuff, man. So uh, come over here with me. Um, I'm gonna label this video just to get y'all attention. Shoe sneakers I regret buying, or sh sneakers that I regret it, or something like that. But not really regret more than just you know, don't need them. You feel me? Anyway, let's do it. Come on, y'all. Let go. Anyway, switching to my cell phone camera. This is the sneaker collection. A lot of that stuff ain't going nowhere right there. If it's in a case, not to say if it made a case. It ain't going nowhere if it made it to the case. Uh, that's the rug my wife bought me for my birthday last year. So dope. Loving that. Um, so anyway, we get to the boxes, man. So, uh, Rich Nation, what are we going to do? Now, a lot of this stuff I'm keeping, but a lot of this stuff I'm like, bro, what are we going to do with it? I'm going to go every box all the way down right here, all the way up right here, and over here, all of these right here are stuff that probably can go. And we going <laughs> oh no, I might even go back to the cases. And I'm just feeling I shouldn't be off work this long, Shada. You can't you not let me know. I get rid of stuff, bro. I clean house. I like open wide spaces when I'm off work, bro. Let's see what we got. Let's start up here. Let's see what we got. What is this? This is a Jordan 7. This is a Jordan 7. I think this citrus is these ain't if these citruses they ain't going away. Yeah, those are citrus Jordan 7s. Although I have the original, as you can see in the background. I'm kind of like, that, that 2006 can go, but I don't think nobody will want it because the bottom of the shoe is like really, really hard. Um, so I'm kind of, I don't know why the bottom of that shoe got hard over time since 2006. This one ain't going nowhere, but I'm going to pull these out and let y'all see what I'm talking about. I sell this shoe, but listen, listen, that's how hard the bottom of that shoe is. This 2006 pair, you probably put some sole covers or sole, whatever y'all put on the bottom of y'all shoes. But you're going to have to do that to get traction or you're going to be sliding everywhere. Really good condition, 2006 pair. I actually sell this shoe because I just don't have no reason for it unless it's just collector's purposes. I'm not one of those collectors that have stuff just to look at, though. Display. I'm not a display collector. Any, everything I cop, I get to wear. So y'all know that about me real quick. I don't care about a shoe sitting up, unless it's an OG. This is the original 1990 something pair. 
I don't really care about having a shoe just to sit up and look at. Uh, this is LeBron. Yeah, these are the big bangs. So I'm not selling these either. But what I will say, this is the DS pair. We're going to go all the way down here. We're going to go all the way down here. I do have the original pair right here. And I would say like 8 out of 10 condition other than the yellow one, which is the main part that's wrong with this shoe. It's a size 13, and I will sell this shoe too. Give me like $100, $120 shipped or something like that. I'll let these go, man. Something like that. It's the original. It's 2012. Uh, I still got the box for that somewhere around here too. You know what I'm saying? But since I got these right here, you know, I, I get rid of the originals. I got the DS pair right here. That drop, what was that? 2021, 2022, last year? 2021? When these shoes drop? I think they dropped last year. Um, keeping those. We don't even have the open trophy rooms because we know trophy room sevens ain't going nowhere. Uh, Jordan 3 Retro. Let's see. What is this? Fire Red 3s or something? I don't think I'm going to sell these. <laughs> You have to give me the right price for these. You have to give me like three fifty or something like that. I let them go, but other than that, these ain't going nowhere. Um, and I think they might be less than that on on StockX and stuff right now. So yeah, unless you're dropping that three fifty bag off, and these fire reds ain't going nowhere. Okay, this is a Jordan Seven. Why is the Jordan Seven in this? But it must be the Cardinals. And then anybody, you can still buy these retail. So we, and I wouldn't sell those anyway. OGs. Uh, Jordan 4, I think these are the, uh, I don't know, I'm on the fence about this shoe. I like it. Jordan 4, size 13 and a half, which is a 12. I'm on the fence about this shoe. I like it. I really, like, I was telling people in that last video, it be shoes that I really like in my collection. I mean, I just, like, I want to wear these one time if I sell them. I want to wear these at least one time. So, so far, yeah, I'm not going to sell these. Maybe... Maybe later on down the line, I don't know. Somebody give me the right price, but ah, I don't know. I, I don't want to sell that shoe. So, of course, we're not selling. I'm on near Jordan 4s. I'm just going down. To, I'm just trying to make sure, y'all. This is a therapy for me today. So, they're like, Rich, you don't went through all them shoes and you ain't selling nothing. I, I said a couple of them. I will let these go. I will let these go. This is a DB5 Lowe's. I bought these kind of like, I bought these on the um, Impulse Buy. I like them, but I just don't see myself wearing them that much. I let the show go, shoe go for two fifty. It's DS. Uh, yeah, I tore the laces off. You know, so if y'all care about that type of thing, they still in the bag and all the patches and stuff too. I actually put some of these patches on the tongue already. I put the uh, I put that patch on there with the shark. Did I put it on both of them? Yeah, they still DS though. Brand new shoes. I never never been on my feet. Never tried them on, nothing like that. Um, but 250, you can have these. They're size 12, men's 12, 250. They are yours. DB5 lows. Uh, I'm not gonna sell this shoe again because I done sold it twice already. <laughs> and that's the uh yeah, I got these from the outlets. Carmines ain't going away. OG stuff I'm keeping, of course. Uh, lost and Founds are not going anywhere. Of course, White Cements not going anywhere. I bought so many lows this year, bro. <sighs> What's this one? This is the UNC. I think I'm keeping that one. Yeah, I'm keeping that one. I might sell a couple of these lows, though. I might sell uh, some ones that made it to, actually made it to the case already. So, y'all stay tuned, man. Don't go nowhere yet. We're going to see. Uh, what's this one? Definitely like not selling those right there. <laughs> you beat me. Uh, I might entertain the fact, bruh. Resale done went down in these tremendously. This is the rebellion now. I might entertain the fact. Somebody give me 300 for these. I entertain $300. I don't know what resale is. It might be less than that, but size 12 DS. I will entertain $300 on these. Just cause I got uh like shadows and stuff, man. I just I got that drip. So um this shoe right here, I know nobody will buy it anyway, but I'm not really even trying to sell it. Like I said, somebody give me retail, I might let them go. Which is like two hundred dollars, and I know nobody probably gonna give me that, so it is what it is. Another shoe that I will sell for retail is the elephant Jordan 3s. Retailers I think two hundred dollars on these too. 
I think 200 plus shipping on these as well. Let me know if you want them. Love the shoe. Don't need the shoe. As much as I love this shoe, and I had it back in 2001 when they first dropped, I sell these for $200 too, size 12 DS. Only reason I sell this shoe, and like I said, I know I don't have to give y'all reasons, but I got like, I love, I got like a couple of Navy shoes that I can bust out. And um, matter of fact, I probably will buy the Georgetown Sixes or something like that later on. Um, I just want this shoe because I, it dropped in back in the day and I had it. That's kind of right. The only reason it's clean. I had it back in the day and I liked it. I wanted some nostalgia and um, the nostalgia has ran its course already. Somebody give me $200 plus shipping uh, for that shoe. You can have it as well. Um, I don't even know what this is right here. Oh yeah, I do. I wore this shoe. I wore this shoe for a whole day. I know what this shoe is. Jade Green Jordan 5s. Still like this shoe. And I, like I said, I did wear it for a whole day. Other than that, man, it's pretty, pretty new condition. I will sell it for $200 if somebody want it. Maybe $190 plus shipping or something like that. Let me know. Size 12 DS. I don't even have to take these out of the box. Y'all know what they is. DJ Khaled's. This is the, that peach color, that, uh, Crimson Bliss or whatever. I let that shoe go for retail. Two fifty flat. You ain't gotta wear. I even take care of shipping. Two fifty flat. And I do like that shoe. I know people just gonna jump all in the comment. You went crazy talking about how far they was. I still think they dope. I need some space, man. Get rid of some of this stuff, man. I'm gonna probably replace it with other shoes anyway. Okay, we're going over here to this stack. SC Trainer High. I'm keeping those. Those are not for sale. I really like that shoe. That's not a regret at all. Not even the price I paid. Keepers. Um, this one right here. It says Air Max Premium. Which one is this? Oh, yeah. I'm keeping these two. Ugly Ducklings. Not going nowhere. Um, Taxi Jordan 1s. I'm not selling those either. I really like that shoe. Eh, that shoe ain't going nowhere. I regret that. That's big one of the ones I regret if I sell it. This right here is the Vachetta Tan Jordan 7. Only reason I'm not selling this is because nobody's going to buy it. I would want at least retail. And that's not what I'm getting for them. I know I'm not, because they're going for under retail already. So I would sell these for like, well, I paid like $220. I sell them for $200, but you know, uh, ship. But I don't think nobody's going to buy them because you can buy them, you can get them for less than that right now. So I'm going to hold on to that shoe. That's one of those unsellables. I don't regret buying the shoe. I just regret not waiting and getting it for a cheaper price because I know I ain't going to wear it no time. So uh, what else? <laughs> The Bosk, <laughs> the Star Wars Bosk. Uh, these, I actually wore this shoe. I wore it for like half a day. I ain't even going nowhere. I think I wore it around the house or something like that. And um, I paid full retail. But I sell the shoe for $100 ship, man. So anybody want that? I know it's hard to sell a press, though. You got to give press those away if you want to sell them. Uh, what's this one? Oh, I'm, not, I'm keeping those. Those are hard. Those are crazy. I'm keeping those. Um, what else we got? Got about four more shoes left. This dunk right here, I will sell for $100. It's a DS. They did like a refurbished thing or whatever. It's a brand new shoe, DS. Uh, but they did like this little refurbished thing to it. It's a dunk. Low. Mm, Y'all want it? Give me $100 plus shipping. You can have them, child. Let me know. Let me know. This is an impulse buy. I just bought them because they was $100 and it was like the last size 12 they had. Uh, right here is, I don't, I don't even know what some of these is. Oh, it's the Air Max. Um, I forgot the name of these too. Uh, I let these go retail, which was like 140 or something like that. So y'all yeah, want this. I let this shoe go for retail. I think 130, 140. Let me know. DS size 12. I don't know what this one is either. It says Dunk Low. Oh no. Nah. Just got just got these. They not I'm not selling these. Dropped today, actually. This shoe dropped today. Y'all comment below if y'all hit on these, man. Comment below if y'all hit on these. Mine ain't going nowhere. Keeping this one. Write it down. The stuff y'all want, or you might think about asking about. Write it down or something. Uh the last two is the Heritage Jordan ones. Um, those ain't going nowhere. Unless somebody want to give me something for them. I don't know. Everything is for sale. 
Uh, and these, <laughs> I should have waited for these, man. These went on sale. Like, this is the Brotherhood Jordan 1s. So, Brotherhood Jordan 1s and Heritages. Like I said, somebody offered me uh, 180 for those shoes. I might let them go. Who knows? Um, as far as in my collection, and I got to put all these shoe boxes now. As far as in my collection, that's in the, in the cases. Stuff that I've thought about selling before. Spider-Man Jordan 1s. DS. I thought about selling these. You have to give me like 500, at least 500 for this shoe. It's a brand new shoe. I went through a lot to get it. If I don't get at least 500, I mean, ain't even no purpose. I keep them and I could probably I would get a good trade at a sneaker event or something like that or get somebody to, somebody with them deep pockets. They'll, they'll be willing to uh, take these off my hand. Still got the laces attached to them and everything. Spider-Man Jordan 1. I might want to save them because that, that new Spider-Man movie coming out this year maybe i want to do ds but yeah i don't think i i just got so many chicago like colorway sneakers i don't think i'm aware of those as much you know what i'm saying i did say i got a little heavy-handed with the jordan one lows stuff like this i'm gonna keep because it's neutral gray i'm keeping these right here just because i don't see nobody wearing these that much just don't see nobody wearing them so i'm, you know, I'm keeping stuff like that i let these go though because i got royal jordan one lows so I let these go for like retail, they DS. I let them go for like, what was retail, 140 or something like that? Yeah, I let them go for retail. <laughs> nah, uh, <laughs> uh, nah, <laughs> uh, no, those are Royals. See, that's what, I got Royals. Even these, I like this shoe, don't get me wrong, I like this shoe. DS pair, bro, DS, never worn. I let it go for retail, bro, like 140. I don't even know what retail for these is. Yeah, 130, 140? I let them go for 140. Put it that way. That sounds like a good number to me. 140. That's it, man. I think that's it. I ain't going to keep going because I've been amazed some regrets. But everything I said, I stand by it so far in my collection. Even these up here, maybe. Uh, hold up. If I can reach them. I think I wore these. I think I wore these one time. But Air Max 97 undefeated. $200 shipped. They're out the door. That's it. I'm gonna I'm I'm stop right there because I'm starting to look at other shoes. I'm starting to look at these Sakai waffles and these uh, Stranger Things and stuff like that. I'm starting to look at the Kobe's ain't going nowhere. We already know that. But um, even some of these KDs, bro, like I don't wear these. I don't had them for years, bro. They in I right condition. I wore the mess out of them when I did wear them. KD4 Black History Month. Somebody give me $100, $200. And these KD6s. Somebody throw me $200, just stuff like, stuff like that that you can't really get no more. You can't really buy at the store. I let them go. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, come below. I done showed y'all a lot of shoes that I'm willing to sell. And rewind the video. back. Fast forward, rewind, pause, stuff like that. Let me know what you want. Don't, I mean, I, I would I would say don't do this, but I know y'all going to do it anyway. I'm going to say don't flood the comments with why you selling this, why you letting it go. Y'all can ask questions if I... Decide to answer the questions. I will. If not, I've already given y'all the reasons in this video, man. You feel me? Woo! Yeah, that was a lot. That made me hungry soon. Y'all gonna learn, man. Y'all gonna learn. I don't want to chew the rest of the video. <laughs> y'all are going to learn that when it comes to sneakers, especially when you collect for years, bro. It's a big difference between what you like and what you're going to wear. Well, it's not really a difference. It's just certain, it's a lot of shoes that I like that I cop. And I'm and I, and I, like, damn, those are clean. I like those. I could, I could pair those up with a couple of fits. But when I look at those shoes versus the rest of my collection, I'm like, well, the rest of my collection, I'm going to put these on and rock them. I always want to put put these shoes on. Most of these shoes in these cases, I always want to wear them. I always want to put them on my feet and just rock them, you know what I'm saying? Go somewhere and have the shoe on, not just sit around the house. I like rocking my shoes out. But some of the shoes that I, like a lot of those, I just showed that I bought last year, even the DJ Khaled's. I'm like, dude, I'll wear them, but it's not. It's never gonna be my go-to. It's never gonna be my first, oh, I wanna wear those. And I'm not the type of person that be like, I'm gonna wear this shoe this day, this shoe this day, because I don't have enough time. When I go back to work, which is very soon, 
I'm gonna be back to wearing my shoes on the weekend. You know what I'm saying? And it's just only on the weekends, two days out of the week. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, I don't need, sometimes you just like, I don't need all these shoes. Plus a lot of kicks is coming out that I want. And I'm like, dude, I'm, I'm just, these shoes, like these shoes is gonna be collecting dust. That's the type of collector I am. I know it's a lot of people probably watching this right now that's sitting on shoes that collecting up in the garage and the attic and got boxes on top of boxes with dust on top of dust. I'm not that guy. Those shoes are gonna crumble and be dust themselves in, in a few years. So I'd rather get my at least get my money back retail for a lot of these shoes if I'm not gonna wear them no time soon. That's just me, man. I and I said it in the video before, is not been plenty of shoes that I go crazy over. I must cop gotta have them in a year later, six months later. Y'all always get me get me in the comments about it. That's gonna be on the next rich shoe sale list. It didn't been at least eight people that said them Callis was gonna be on the shoe sale list. And if I go through all my shoes and compare them to the rest of my collection, by default, yeah, they be on the shoe sale list. So anyway, y'all um, DM me on Instagram if you wanna buy something. Don't comment below on this video because I will not be making no shoe sales over under like YouTube comments. You wanna buy something, Go to rich underscore Mike 23 on Instagram, my IG, rich underscore Mike 23. Shoot me a DM. Tell me if you want to buy the shoes. If not, hey, they'll just be chilling in this room. <laughs> and so I decided to do something else with them. I appreciate y'all for watching. Hit a thumbs up, like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Hit the notification bell so you can become a part of Rich Nation. Stand all the way up to the moon on them and keep watching my video because that's what I'm here for. Gone. Good at Apple. Call up the plug, hit me a lick. Early kids from Retro Rick. New air bubble like helium lift. So as the bless, thank God for the gift. Yeah, it's a hit. Premium fit. No barbecue, but this is it. Hold up, rock, rock, just my hit. With richest kicks, I mean my rich. Yeah, ballin' all the way to the moon on them. Space Jam going on the tune on them. Sweeping y'all haters, get the broom on them. New heat coming real soon on them. My rich fans, shout that's what I cop to give for. Thank you for watching these vids, that's what I'm here for. It gone all the way up to the moon on them. What's happening there, everybody? Yeah. Life so lighty daddy. Bless. Hit that Nike store just like your girl hit Hobby Lobby. Then yeah. we fly to Abu Dhabi. Then we gone straight up to.